Hi, Cancer. Hello, how are you? My name is Alicia, and welcome to Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being a highly sensitive being here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe. Not only does it help grow the channel, which I appreciate, so thank you, but more importantly, get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths such as yourself. Now, if you are seeking more clarity further past this reading, be sure to check out your sun, moon, and rising signs as well. And for more information on scheduling a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details will be in the description box down below. All right, Cancer. And if you have not yet already, be sure to check out my amazing husband, Vince, over at 70 Tarot, whose messages correlate exactly with what you're going to be receiving here today. So for a more broad perspective, be sure to check him out. And his information will be down below as well. All right, so let's dive right into this. Starting out, we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Chariot. Ooh, so there's definitely a lot of new beginnings headed your way in terms of starting projects, new career, new insights. Definitely going to create a lot of stability in your life because that Ace of Pentacles is the money card, baby. It is a very, very good omen. So right now, it's important to focus on what makes you feel passionate, what makes you gives you um, energy, um, cancer. That's what's most important right now because during your time of creating, Creation, that's how you always know that you're on the right track is to um, be in a state of being able to receive. Now, if we're not able to receive, it is because we're allowing our emotions to get in the way, fear, anxiety, worry, doubt. That's what the chariot's here to remind you is that you can achieve anything in this life, beautiful soul, but you gotta make sure your emotions are in check. If you're ever feeling like you can't do it, if you're ever feeling overwhelmed, it is just your perspective. So it is time to make sure that you check your thoughts at the door because our thoughts, are only here merely to, well, our thoughts are here to create, but the problem is, is that as an empath, you're gonna be absorbing a lot of energy from everywhere, and the more you um, pick up off any type of negativity, or any type, if you're feeling overwhelmed in any way, then you're more susceptible to negativity, therefore not in control and not in your power of who you are. It's important to own who you are, own it, right? Own this life experience. You only have so many years here on planet Earth, you might as well own it and get the best out of it. This life is a video game, and as video games, know as we know you've got constantly got to be progressing constantly got to be evolving trying new things creation that's what it's about so if you're ever feeling stuck stagnant for fearful or worried more energy has to be put in now, I feel like cancer, this new beginning that you're being um, placed with this new project, this new career, may be something true that you may be even be working from home with this Empress energy. But understand that the seeds of your labor are, are growing, okay? They are growing and everything will manifest in time. So be patient. Be patient and know that everything will work out. A lot of opportunities headed your way. Make sure that you're coherent to what really resonates with you. Set the intentions for what you want, cancer. That way, when all these other desires come up or opportunities come up, you'll really Really be able to decide which one works best for your authentic soul because ultimately that's what it is about is living your life through your most highest good so that you are living free and living happy recognizing that it's time to become the leader of your life with this emperor energy justice card know that wherever you set your focus and attention is what's going to manifest so it's really important to always be constantly looking towards what you desire most not getting caught up in what's not going right not getting Getting caught up in all the things that you got to take care of or the overwhelm or the uncertainty don't worry about that that comes with the territory of new beginnings my friends so just know that it's part of the story but if you keep your attention focused on your why on your intentions having poster boards up about what you desire having a visual uh, a, a visual board right something that all your desires you want on are on just so you always remind yourself of what it is that you're looking to create because this will allow you to get rid, well, get rid, yes, but move past any limiting belief that you may have. That's why we have the death card and the five of cups, because when we release old energy, then we truly move past this time and we have to learn to always be creation, or creating, excuse me, always be moving forward, not getting stuck in an energy of this didn't go right. Oh no, what did I do wrong? You know, this energy is like, again, this is a video game, right? So it's the same thing as if you were in a video game and you were um, sitting in a corner waiting for, you know, hoping that someone didn't come and, and you know, 
you know, say it was a, a shooting game, like kill you off. You know what I mean? Like you'd be sitting in the corner being fearful and worried, but what's how you actually progress out of the level is to keep moving forward and to keep creating new things. This is what this energy is all about. The more we release old energy, perhaps of fear and worry, and we keep creating, then we're progressing and we're not staying complacent. And therefore we remove limiting beliefs because our beliefs always try to tell us that we can't do something. Our beliefs try to tell us that, oh, because this didn't work out, you're not going to be able to do this right either, right? There's so many limiting beliefs we put upon ourselves. But when we remove all of that energy and we move away from those types of, of negativity, that's when all of the new beginnings comes because it is about bringing in new energy, right? Trying new things, creation, putting energy towards, you know, new abundance, all these kinds of things, right? The new projects you're starting, focus on that because that's truly when the good ideas are going to come, when the new abundance is going to come for you. And it is here for you, Cancer. It truly, truly is. I can see that because we have porcupine spirit, time for a beginner's mind, which is exactly that energy of this death card, right? releasing that old, those old limiting beliefs in order to have a new mind, right? We have to bring forth new beginnings in order to have new beginnings and be the change we want to see. We quite literally have to change our reality, change our thoughts, change what we're doing, right? If we do the same things each and every day, we're going to get the same results. Look at it like that, right? So in order to get new results, we have to change what we do. We have to change our beliefs, bring in new energy, all of that stuff. Now, we also have lion spirit, be generous of spirit. Always know that your spirit is here guiding you along. So be generous, call upon your guides and angels, call upon your inner divine uh, guidance system. You can do this through automatic writing, which changed my life. I know it will also change yours, beautiful empath, as well as keeping a journal, self-reflecting, meditation, getting out in nature, and most importantly, wearing your crown cancer, owning it, owning this life, surrendering to what the universe has given you currently, remember that this is all a journey. So if we surrender to what is and we stop trying to chase our desires and stop trying to run away from what we don't want, we'll quickly realize that if we just put all of our attention and power into surrendering to what the universe has given us at that time, we are going to expand and grow into exponential um, souls much, much faster, right? Much faster than chasing desires. There's always going to be a desire. Those desires do not define who you are, Cancer. What defines who you are is your progression on the, in, in this experience. That defines who you are and that's what you will leave this experience feeling like you'll look back at your life and be like did I do enough did I create enough did I get you know what I need did I come here and, and fulfill my purpose you know what I mean not did I you know get the car in my dreams or you know that the nice house on the hill like you know those things they will come with you chasing your progression because it's the adding value to the progression to the journey is where those the side effect comes of getting gaining the money okay that comes it's all energy so with the receive card it's very important this is a good omen be open to receiving goodness because believe you are worthy of abundance a gift is coming to you soon so this is about staying open to all possibilities understanding that whenever we have an open mind a beginner's state of mind right an open mindset we allow the energy to, of the universe to bring us our desires and again they don't come in pretty wrapped up packages on our front step that say you know to cancer um you know here's your abundance they come in the most unexpected way somebody walking into your workplace and having an idea and if you're being in an open mind and if you are feeling good about yourself then you will be able to reciprocate that right if you've surrendered to what the universe has given you you're going to be open to any opportunity that may come up, any possibility that may come up, right? And they are coming. So we want you to be open to able to be able to receive them. If we're in a negative frequency and feel like we can't do it, feel like we're not worthy, um, not feeling good that day, making choices that don't replicate, you know, resemble who we are, then the problem is we'll miss out on these opportunities and we'll be wondering, why do no good things happen for me? Why do other people get this crazy stroke of luck, but nothing ever seems to happen for me? It's because of that. We have to be open and willing to receive, have come from an open heart and recognize that with the polarity card, truly, truly, we would not know what we want unless we experience what we don't want thus this five of cups energy as well so we there is no light without dark there is no dark without light we need them both and then notice that the shadows the darkness that we feel is truly hiding who we are so the more we dive into our shadows the more we dive into shadow work the more we 
look our fear straight in the face, right? We, we become aware of what makes us feel good and what makes us feel bad and why we, why we you know, hesitate and why we have anxiety and fear towards certain things. The more we dive into that emotion, the more we'll uncover our true authentic selves because that's truly what's hiding in those shadows is who we truly are. All right, Cancer, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Cancer. And until our next read, keep shining, baby.